Okay, what's up guys? This is Mark from the Ashini. I have a sweater on because it's cold. Not because outside it's cold, the fucking AC. So, <laughs> I can't remember who asked this question yesterday, but... Ooh. I like this side better. I can't remember who asked this question yesterday, um, but I'm going to answer it and kind of give you guys some... Um, some kind of like stuff to think about. So this is more for you intermediate, Ross, Ben, Oliver, Mike, all the guys who are selling. Someone in the group asked like, oh, there's a dude selling a million dollars a year and some other group, I guess it's DS Domination, that's my guess. Um, and then eBay just shuts his account down. Why is, is that normal or why does that happen? First of all, chances are you didn't get the full story, right? So let me explain what the full story could be. Now, eBay and PayPal don't just wake up one day and shut accounts down. Like, these are multi-million dollar companies. They process billions of sales a year. They are out to make money just like we are out to make fucking money. When your store is growing, please guys listen to this whole video because I cover a lot of different things. When your store is growing, okay, let me go back. The reason why eBay would shut an account down is because they deem it as high risk. There are a couple things that cause eBay to think it's high risk. Now, a lot of sales really quickly tends to bring up some high risk alerts, right? But... What could, a lot of times what caused big sellers to lose their accounts is this high risk thing. And what happens is if you, if you start getting a lot of messages and you live in them one, two, three days without answering them, if you just happen to take a lot longer to upload tracking numbers, eBay will be like, fuck this, we want no part of this. So let me explain why they say that and, let, and then let me explain how that could happen and then you guys could avoid it. So the reason why eBay does that type of stuff is because they are scammers who scam eBay and PayPal for a living. I know one of them and I kicked him out of DSG two years ago. I'm not going to call his name. But these guys get eBay accounts, stealth accounts, get PayPal accounts, connect them to bank accounts, work the account until eBay is depositing money immediately. They may even work the account for six months to get a big limit and then sell a ton of shit and run with the money. Close the bank account, rinse and repeat. These guys do this, there are a couple of people, I know one in particular, I actually think he got arrested, so that's fucking good, that do this for a living. They scam eBay and PayPal. There are other people who leave eBay and PayPal with the debt and didn't do it for a reason and didn't do it deliberately. And this is how that could happen, right? There's another way this could happen. There are three ways, doing it deliberately and there's two other ways. The other way is a lot of you guys who may get into dropshipping have problems financially and need to make money immediately. A lot of people, I've done this like three, four years ago. Luckily I busted my ass and dig myself out of this hole. But some people, and I'm telling you from experience, because I did it. Listen to what I said. I did it, and it's a bad idea. Luckily, I dug myself at the hole. But some people would take the money from today's sales, pay their bills, pay their rent, pay their light bill, and then use tomorrow's sales to pay for today, and then try to scale sales enough to catch back up. Listen carefully. I did it. So I'm not telling you this because I don't understand. I get it. But it is a bad fucking idea. Because you threaten a thin line. As soon as like some returns happen, the whole scheme fucks. And although you don't have negative intentions, I didn't have negative intentions. And I, I was lucky that like that we dug ourselves out of the hole. But you just don't want to do that. So that's another way eBay gets left for the debt. So let's say you're doing that and then you get like 
10 returns or sales go down or eBay hits you with a big um, eBay fee at the end of the month, your game is fucked. Your account goes into negative, eBay ends up with a hole in the ball. Another way that this could happen is this. If you know we drop ship from Amazon, Walmart, Kmart, all these guys, Home Depot, and sometimes they cancel orders when they deem it as high risk. That is going to force you to push back the time you upload tracker numbers by one, two days. If eBay sees this happening, they will deem it as high risk and chances will shut the account down. So anyone who's telling you that eBay, if, like for instance, Mike, and I do Mike because we have his statistics. Mike is, has, sells over $50,000 a month. This motherfucker, for some reason, like it's a miracle, has 100% feedback. Like that's amazing. But in order to keep 100% feedback, even when you're drop shipping and selling people Amazon boxes and came, Walmart came out boxes, you have to keep good communication with every customer. Generally, when the people know that there's another human on the other side of this thing, they don't lose their shit. They keep it moving. They don't give you negative. So I suspect that's the only way Mike could keep 100%. If someone like Mike is selling all the time and 100% answering questions, uploading tracking numbers, top rated seller, eBay is not going to fucking shut his account down because it's low risk. But if Walmart start, starts canceling orders, it, you start uploading tracking numbers a week, three days late, four days late, when all the time you were, eBay is going to shut that bitch down because through the various algorithms and understanding how a lot of stuff works, the probability of catching up is low and they just don't need the debt, right? The buyers are still there. They'll just buy it from somebody else. They're not really going to lose a ton of money, right? They just get rid of a shitty seller. So once you keep your shit together, once you fucking answer your questions on time, upload your fucking tracking numbers, you're good. Any motherfucker who told you that eBay woke up one day and shut their account down is an asshole and he's lying to you and not telling you the whole story. That's the bottom line. And the crazy thing is, if you're selling a million dollars a year, you're actually closer to fucking up than you think. Because the rate at which shit could go bad is insane. Like that's why we pulled back from selling 300 grand a month, 400 grand a month to 100. Because the rate, when you sell 100 items a day, I remember I sold 163 items in a day. If you're selling 60 items a day, right? And Walmart cancels three days of orders, that's 180 fucking orders. Like you're screwed. You see what I'm saying? So anyone who, who wants you to believe that eBay or PayPal just shut their account down, is lying and is not telling you the whole story and they could go fuck themselves. All right, love you guys, Travi will make that money, subscribe. I crossed 2,000, I'm at 2,100 in like two days. That's crazy, I, I got like 40 subs in a day. That's big for me, I don't know about you big YouTubers. Anyway, subscribe guys, on the way to 3,000. Um, check in the description for some cool shit. Um, free training, free mastering, all that cool shit. Join DSN if you want. If you don't want to, that's fine also. Peace.